Hi YouTube fam, today is just going to be a short video explaining Leroy's perfect parries and how to do them in a match. This is Leroy's parry or reversal, which is back two. For starters, if you are going to do Leroy's parry, try using back two two always, as it includes the reversal move when you successfully parried the enemy's attack. Nice. Leroy's parry activates after five frames. Let's take this example. Leroy's down one is negative five on block. So if Elisa tries to do a 10 frame move like a jab, it will be exactly at the start of the parry activation. Let's see this in slow motion. As you can see, Elisa will move five frames first because she is on advantage. As she finishes her 10 frame jab, Leroy waited five frames and his parry took five frames with a total of 10 just in time to parry Elisa's jab. At the start of activation, Leroy's parry becomes it was perfect in the first two frames of its activation. Taking this attack move of Leroy as an example, which has a five frame disadvantage, it will perfect parry a 10 frame or 11 frame move, given that the enemy immediately moved after Leroy's attack. Let's look at another example. In the example, Leroy's move puts him at a negative four frame disadvantage. That means after four frames, Leroy can start activating his parry, while it will take six more frames for Elisa to finish a jab. In this example, if the attack reaches you before you've finished activating your parry, it will not work. Take this example of Leroy at negative six, trying to parry a 10 frame jab. He lacks one more frame for the parry to be successful. You might be wondering, so Millie, we can only do parry or perfect parries at negative five and negative four. Well, not really. You may even try to consider parrying even if you are at a negative eight disadvantage. Let's look at more examples. Nice. What you just saw are Leroy's move, which puts him at a negative seven and negative eight disadvantage. This time, Elisa uses a 13 frame move, trying to punish. This means that the parry will still be perfect if we applied the math. Let's look at more examples. So far, you have been leading what frame disadvantage Leroy is on. What if it is given by your enemy? See this example. Elisa's forward one plus two in destructive form gives her a plus five advantage. She then uses an 11 frame move after. This is exactly similar if you know the frame data of your opponent, since this leaves you at a negative five disadvantage again. You can try using parry immediately, since at exactly five frames, it will activate, overtaking the 11 frame move by Elisa by one frame and successfully parrying it perfectly. You may also try to delay your parry if you want your parry to be perfect. This will only work if you know how slow your enemy's next move is. So that's why, for risky situations, Try to observe your enemy's setups first and find which setups are parryable. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Feel free to comment your feedbacks and suggestions. Also, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to watch more content like this.